Okay, so the last step is going to be activating the Outlook plugin. So what you want to do to, um, to get this to work, because as you notice, um, the icon's grayed out over here. What you'll want to do is click on the second to last uh, email, um, which is going to be back at the Cisco BCE configuration file. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on it. And you'll notice that now I get a message um, that is asking me for the passphrase. Now the passphrase, what's the, what that's going to be is um, that's going to be the password that you used when you uh, initially registered um, the uh, registered with Cisco. So um, I'm going to go ahead and enter that password that I use. And uh, after I enter that password, you'll notice that um, these uh, icons um, will light up. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then uh, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, click on yes on this uh, on this message here. Um, you can say um, apply common plugin settings. That's fine. Go ahead and click on yes. OK, and now you have activated the icons. I'm going to click on OK here. I'm going to close this and you'll see that now this icon has some color. I can use it. Um, if I click on new email um, and if I uh, click on encrypt here, um, that will encrypt the message. Um, so basically now you can uh, send the email to anyone that you like um, externally to from UCSD or internally. Um, it will send it um, as an encrypted file. And uh, the next video is going to be on how the person on the other end, uh, what they're going to need to do to be able to see that message.